swiftly on. At Disney Castle might sound like uh, quite a tricky thing to do, but I think um, when you break it up into um, shapes and towers and things, I think it's it's not actually that difficult, and I think you guys are going to have a really good go at doing this. So, we're going to start with um, just a line to show where the bottom of our castle is going to be. So, I'm going to draw a line across the bottom of my page. Like that. And mine's going to be about that wide. So, from there, we're going to draw our bottom wall to start with. So, we're going to go straight up, not too far, to about there. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. And these are going to be our two side lines, which is going to be where our towers are going to start. You can join these two up with a line right the way across like that. All of these lines, as I always say, do need to be nice and light because you're going to want to rub out quite a lot of this stuff at the end. These are our guidelines to help us draw. So we're going to find the halfway point. So where the middle of this is, you can use your fingers. I like to do this. I'm going to write that is so about there. Or you can use a ruler if you want to make sure it's completely perfect. Not too worried though. So from this point we're going to draw a line straight up. You can always go pretty much up to the top of the page. I'm going to go to about there. I don't want to go off the camera. I don't think it does cover the whole page, but I might need to zoom in there. I'm going to go up to there. And that's going to be the top. Or where the top of my tallest tower will be. So from here we need to kind of mark out where we're going to make our towers so what we're going to do is we're going to draw basically draw a triangle shape so we're going to from this corner here to the top we're going to draw a nice straight light line like that and we're going to do the same on the other side Quite tricky for me because I'm trying not to turn the page. Normally I'd be turning the page in loads to be able to draw a better line. But I try not to because I think it's not very good for the camera. I don't think you can see what's going on if I do that. So those two lines are going to help us decide where the towers go up to. So we're going to start with these two outside towers. So we're going to basically make a rectangle as wide as we want our tower. And we're going to do the same on both sides. So you should now have two rectangle shapes. We're now going to do the middle two towers. So we're going to go to the middle and we need to decide how big we want our um, gate to be, our gateway. So I'm going to make mine about that. Wide, so we need to make a square in the middle basically. So that is my square shape there. So from there, we're going to draw our two towers that go to the side of this. So we're going to leave between this bit here, we're going to leave a little gap and draw another line. Like that, so you're making like a really long, long thin tall thing, sorry, tall thin rectangle, and then you're going to draw a tower that width, so the same width as that there to there, here. And the same on the other side. And now we've got four towers, so one there, one there, one there one there and they're going to be our four main uh, towers for the front wall basically so before we start putting any details on top of any of the towers we're going to try and map out all the kind of key parts that we need so we're definitely going to need to do our entrance so our entrance is going to be uh, sort of like a semicircle so there's a few different ways you could do this you could either do this and draw a rectangle first square actually 
not like a rectangle, like that. And then curving off the edges of the rectangle. It's quite a good way of doing a, a gate for a castle, because that'll get you that shape. Or you can draw a circle like that and square off those edges. Yeah, it's the same same principle because you're looking for those curves, just a slightly different way of doing it. So that's going to be where our gateway is. So now we're going to go on to what's behind this bit here. So that is going to be the top of our entrance way, but there is going to be stuff on top of there, but we're going to do that towards the end. So we're going to go up from here and on top of this gateway, we're going to draw another rectangle just so that we don't use that space for something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to where the top of this tower is. We're not going to go from there, we're going to go from here. So we're going to go up and carry it on and then we're going to go across. We're going to, we're going to need that later. So we're going to draw a nice square on top of it like that. Now on top of every one of these towers we're going to do a similar thing to what we've just done on here. So on top of this tower here, we're going to draw a straight line that is going to go off the edge of the tower. Then we're going to go up like that. So we want it to have a little overhang, so it wants to be overhanging a little bit, so a little bit bigger. And then straight across like that. And we're going to do that on every single one. So straight line across, little overhang, Try and keep it a similar thickness to that, ideally. Like that. This one. one on top of every single one they should be roughly the same size like I can see that one's a little bit smaller than that one so I'm just gonna make that a little bit, a little bit bigger right and that line needs to stay there we still want that line and that line basically that's kind of our front wall mapped out so we've got our tower there's gonna be a section of wall here another tower our entrance way, another tower, another section of wall, and another tower. So behind this middle entrance way, behind this middle entrance way, we're going to have um, another building sticking out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go slightly smaller than this that we've done here. So we're going to go in a little bit like that. I'm just going to mark that and then we're going to go straight up. So we're going to go straight up, but not too far. Probably about that high. And then we're going to draw a line across. So we're drawing another box. A lot of this is about drawing boxes, rectangles, triangles, and just using all those shapes um, to create the castle. Then when you get up to that height, which is what we're aiming for, you're going to draw a straight line across, and we're going to go up ever so slightly further, and draw another straight line across. And you'll see why we've done that when we start putting a bit of details on later. Then from here, we're going to draw, well, in fact, we need to mark out how high we're going first, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So we need to draw a mark that is about the same height as here to here up here like that so from there to there we'll go about the same height again mark it and then we're going to go like we did with this bit here making a bit of a triangle so we're going to go from here up to that mark and the same on the other side like that because that is going to be the roof of part of this castle Enough, maybe. Yeah, we'll work with that. So that's going to be one of our towers there. Down the middle of this tower, we need to draw a long 
rectangle like this. So find the middle, come out a little bit, and we're going to do a nice long, tall rectangle down the middle. All the way up. Like that. Until we get just above this line, and then it's going to come in like that and have a triangle on top. basically following the shape of the outside that we've drawn but putting it on the inside. So next step is more towers. So we're going to put a tower basically here. So it doesn't particularly matter um, exactly where you put this tower but I'm going to go for not in line with this one but a little bit off to the side. Tower, and I'm going to go up like that, and it wants to go a little bit higher than this bit. So we want to go up like that, a little bit higher, and then I'm going to go straight line across like that. And on the top, just like we have with these, we're going to stick a rectangle. This time, it's going to be a little bit bigger. In fact, quite a lot bigger. And that's going to be another one of our towers when we get to it. Now we're going to have another one. Oh, actually, before we do that, we're going to draw a wall that goes from this tower to behind here. So we're just going to draw a straight line like that. Nice and easy. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a sore voice today. So we need to do another tower. This is going to be the tallest tower that we do, and it's going to come up behind here. So we're going to start down here, just in line with this bit here, and we're going to do a straight line going up until we get to in line with the peak, the point of this uh, triangle here, and then we're going to stop, and then we're going to make our tower thicker by doing this. And we're going to go straight across and then we're going to put a rectangle on the top again. Similar to this one here, size wise. And that's going to be the top of that tower. I have to try really hard not to turn the page because, like I said, I'd, I'd be constantly turning the page if I was drawing. And you'll find when you are, you probably will, because it's a lot easier to draw curves one way than the other, depending on if you're right or left handed. When you get to the top of here, the tower is going to carry on for a little bit, but ever so slightly thinner. I'm not going to about the same thing to say, I want to be a little bit thinner. And then we're going to draw another straight line across. Draw another little rectangle on top of it. Smaller than this one now. And then we're going to go up again. And this tower is even smaller. And then a smaller rectangle box on top of that. It's looking a bit like a lighthouse at the moment, I know. And then lastly. I'm going to draw a little tower off to the side of one of these, so on the top of here we're going to draw a very, we're going to draw one tower like this, quite an odd thing to do this, like that, off to one side, and then put a top on it, and then in fact let's put the track, let's put the roof on it, so that might make, might make this the next bit a little bit easier for you, so then we're going to go and put a big tall triangle on top of there, top of our tower and off to the side in the floor another smaller tower like that kind of looks like fireworks and that's that tower um, mapped out not finished but mapped out this is all just us mapping everything out at the moment so we're gonna have another tower sticking out from behind here 
this one's quite a simple one to do, so I'm just going to go like this. Almost looks like a chimney coming out the side. Put a rectangle on top. Apologies if you can hear the dog next door. Just out in the garden having fun. And he's uh, been quite loud today. And then on top of that, I've got my little tower. details I need to map out still so when we get to here we're gonna go in line with this we're gonna go across a little bit and then we're gonna go down like that across and down and then we're just gonna stop there and here we're gonna go across again and we're gonna make that into box. It's just going to flow above that for now and then we'll draw the lines down because that's going to be another tower. So a lot of this again like I said is just mapping out and then it'll all kind of come together at the end when we start putting the tops on towers and um, put some details in. So that's going to go like that and then we're going to come down. So cross, down, we put the top on this tower here. Behind here is going to be a small tower that's going to come up, so I'm just going to draw a tall rectangle. You have to stick with me on this one because it will turn out good by the time we've finished. And I'm going to put a tall triangle on the top of that. That's going to be another tower. On top of here, we're going to put our roof on. Now this isn't going to be a pointed one like the others, it's going to go up. Up, and then we're going to put a little bit of a flat top on it, like that. So that one's going to have a flat top on it. And what else are we missing? And on this side, we're going to do a similar thing to what we've done here. Let's just draw that line across there because it's going to be a bit like a roof. So on this side, we're going to come out a bit lower than this, and we're going to go across, and then this time it's going to curve all the way down to the wall. Cross, diagonally down, and then we're going to do one small tower here sticking out. Like that. And that is pretty much all of it sort of mapped out in terms of where our towers are going to be. So we've got our towers across the back and our four main towers across the front, and now we just need to start actually making them look like. Um, the towers from the castle. So I have to link them. So every tower, starting with this one, where there's a rectangle on top, we have to curve this sharp edge here. So where it starts, where the rectangle corner is there, we need to draw a curve from there to the tower, like this. So we don't want a we don't want a straight. This is the corner of the tower. We don't want a straight top of the rectangle like that going onto it. We want a nice curve like that. So every single tower that we've drawn on both sides, we need a nice curve like that, including all these front towers. Absolutely every single tower. That one. We've got this little this one here. Needs the same. Straight away once you've done this, these, your drawing's already gonna look so much better than it did before. You can see how it's gonna start to come together. Stop looking as much like lots of rectangles, a bit more like a castle. Um, same on all of these. This one 
here, anywhere where we put a rectangle on top to be a tower, it needs to be curved like that. I think I've got all of them now, roughly. Right, so now we need to start looking at the top of these towers. So on the top of these towers, we need to put um, battlements, which are little cutouts of the stone like this. And we're gonna do that on the top of all of these front ones. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, and then we're gonna do some on the other ones, but we'll do these front ones first. So all we're gonna do is draw on top of here, I'm just going to go across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, like that, on all of them. Across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down. Now this isn't a super hard thing to do, but it is quite um, time consuming, it does take quite a while to do. I want to try and get them all to look fairly similar uh, size wise, they want to look roughly the same size on each of the, especially on the front ones, we want those to look as similar as possible. We also need battlements on top of these walls, so we're going to do it in a slightly different way on these walls though. But below this line we're going to draw another line, like that, the same on the other side. And I'm going to cut out with our pencil and little battlements instead, like that. And then we can just go over them. And at the end, we will rub out the bits in between, like this. And they'll look like the top of the wall. So you say on this side. Across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up, across, down, across, up. Across again. And they're going to be the battlements on our wall. So, where are we going to go next? Let's finish off down here, I think. So, should we go that line again? I keep smudging it with my hand. Um, and we're going to do this. Um, in fact, let's start at the top and we'll work our way down so we don't smudge it quite as much. So, this tower here, all of these towers also want battlements on top. So this one here, top of here, should have little battlements. And the next one should also have little battlements on top. And this one should still have battlements on top. And you can see now it is starting to look a bit more like a castle. This one also should have battlements on top. This is a bit that takes quite a while to do. Um, so that one's got one, that's got one, that's got one. This one here isn't going to have battlements on top. So this one here is just going to have, I'm going to draw a straight line up from it, like that. And I'm just going to draw the roof on it, a nice triangle roof like that go straight across and then on this one the different thing we're going to do is we're going to draw some um, kind of they look like M's basically like almost like semicircles but quite tall semicircles so here we're going to go like this we're going to go like that one two we're going to do three I think we're okay with that. And then we're going to draw a line across the top like that. And then we're going to leave that tower for now. Just like that. So, we've got battlements on this one, we've got our tower. And now we need, we're going to do this tower I think, just because it's it's going to be the one that we're going to smudge the least. So let's, let's make this one right first. So on the top here, you're going to want to draw some little windows on the side, like that. And then 
on the next row here, we're going to draw some more of these kind of semicircles that we did, but smaller, like this. Yeah, I have to do this bit. But it does make it look a little bit better, I think. Then on this next one here, there's going to be a door, basically. So we're going to do a semicircle with a door like that. And then two little windows, one either side. The next one's going to have another door. Slightly bigger there this time. Two little windows. Either side like that. And then this bit here needs some more of these semicircles that we've done. So they're going to go like this. I keep calling them semicircles, but they're not really. They're more like semi ovals to be quite honest. I don't want them to do them on this bit as well, actually. So they're just slightly smaller. But again, you don't have to do all of these steps. You can make it your own. So we've done that, that's that tower done. We're now going to do this middle area. Now I think, yeah, let's do this middle area. So, firstly this side here, so in between this tower and this tower, we're going to do a tall, um, basically a tall church style window. top of here we're going to do some battlements just to make it look a bit less um, dull make a line across there and then we're going to move on to this middle spot here so on either side of here we're going to draw a little rectangle so we're going to draw a rectangle like this just sticking out at the side to be a mini tower and we're going to draw one either side like that and on the top of it we're going to just put a nice empty roof on it like that now in the middle this bit is going to pretty much stay the same like that the difference is at the top here we're going to go across make a bit of a flat bit on the top like that and I'm just going to draw like a little crown type thing on top of it like that. Then we need to come down here and we've got this line that's going across like that. And then another one needs to be below it. Oops, sorry, the one above it's already there. Like that, because that's going to be like a guardrail for a balcony. So on the top of here we're going to do some more of these semi oval type shapes like that and then in the middle of here we're going to draw a window. So we're going to do basically just a rectangle like that. Put a line down the middle and a line across it to show that that's a little bit of a window. And then you can put a little triangle sticking out the side of both of those, like that. This window carries on all the way down here, so keep it going, like that. And then this bit also carries on going down, like that. So that's that bit done. So here, above here, we haven't quite finished this entrance way. I'm going to do that now because it needs to come a little bit higher. So what's going to happen is, in the middle here, on this block that we've made, we're going to draw a line either side like that. And then we're going to go across the top like that. 
so it needs to be taller than this line and it needs to go down below this line here. Then underneath, we're going to go across a little bit, not very far, and then straight up. Just below this line. In fact, you're not going to go up to that line, you're going to use that line and go across there. So you should have this kind of almost like a capital H sign. Across the top of here, we're going to have battlements. Like that. And then where we've got this line here, we're going to make battlements again. But on the end, where our battlements would stop, we're going to put a mini little tower. Very, very small tower, so a little rectangle like this. Same on the other side. Front here, we're going to do like a cross, like that, and then below, we're going to do between here and here, we're going to draw a line, like that. This is what I've realised my door is very off centre, I think. I might have even made it worse now. Very strange, I've done something wrong there, but we won't worry too much. And then we're going to draw. Big long box like that. And the same on the other side. Just like that, so that is like a long thin H. And another box a little bit like that. And then, where are we going to go next? So, we need to still finish off our front main towers, they're important so we can do those in a moment, but let's just sort out this roof here. So this roof here should have a straight line and then another straight line like that, just so it actually looks like a roof. And then we want to do diagonal lines like this. And we're going to do the same on the roof on the other side. to these front towers and get them finished. So these front towers are going to have smaller towers on top. So we're going to do lines like that to make a box straight across the top. We'll do one of those on each one, all trying to be the same height if possible. This one might be a bit strange to do because there's quite a lot of stuff in the background that you're going to go over the top of. And then you want to draw a line that sticks out either side a little bit and then we're going to put a triangle on top of it basically. Like that. And every single one of them you want to try and do a triangle that's similar, a similar size going to be easier said than done. So we have a triangle on the top for every single one like that. And then each of the towers needs to have a little door in the front. These front towers need our um, bits that we've done on all these towers, like here and here. Although these ones are in a weird place, I don't think we did that one right, but I'm not too worried at the moment. And we need to put our, our semi oval on basically. 
ね。tower that we've done is obviously um, a triangle like a little roof. Now if you want to try and put um, tiles or patterns or anything on them it would definitely look good. It would be quite time consuming though um, but I'm just going to hint at it by putting some lines across like that just to hint at the big tiles on it. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to do this bit. I might change my mind once I've done them all. We'll see what it looks like. Just a bit of an idea. Yeah, I'm not super keen on it. I'm not super keen on that. I might even do that and not have them like that. So, what are we missing? I'm kind of having a look at a picture to see where we are. might need to put a few things in. So the top of every tower is missing a little flag. So every tower at the top of it should have a little curved line like that. So every top of the tower should have a little curved line like that. And then coming out the top would be a nice straight line, flagpole, and then a nice little Disney style flag like that. This one's going to have two on. thing about when you're drawing something like this in pencil is every time you put your, your hand over it it's smudging you can see I've got smudge marks kind of all over the place at the moment so I am um, in this tutorial I'm going to go over it all with a uh, fine liner at the end just so that you can actually see whether or not you're missing anything so on the walls I'd probably put a few um, a few bricks like this just to hint at the fact that it's actually made out of stone and not just a flat wall like that and also potentially make the bottoms of these walls less, less square as well but I think, I think they're about there Yeah, I'm going to go over all this now with um, some fine liners and then we'll have a look at uh, the finished drawing. 
effects. I've just finished going over all the pencil lines with a fine liner. You don't have to do this. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it either. Um, I've just done it because it shows up better in the video. So we're going to rub out all of the pencil lines and have a look at what we've got left. We'll also see any bits that I've missed. Because I tend to always miss something like I missed that door. Should be a door there. Pop that on. And also see if I press down too hard, any of my lines are used at the beginning. Just the window there as well. Right, I'm going to give this a quick colour in and then we'll have a look at the finished drawing. So I've very, 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 very quickly gone over with some colouring crayons. I've gone a little bit crazy with the colours. Um, I'm not 100% happy with how it turned out, um, only because I probably rushed a little bit with the colours, but I'm sure yours will turn out a lot better than mine. So hopefully you've enjoyed having a go at learning how to draw a Disney style castle. Uh, and I'd absolutely love to see your attempts. So until next time, keep on drawing.